Hello there, viewers. Welcome to the Englingo with one of the interesting topic, the art of communication. Aha. Uh -huh. You'll be thinking that today the teacher is going to describe communication to us. Yeah. I will introduce communication to you. What is communication skill? Communication skill kya hai? What are the types of communication skill? And how important is communication skills? Ab, once I listened from one of my teacher, she said that I have PhD in communication skills. And I goosebump. Ah, baato mein bhi koi PhD kar sakta hai. For us, communication skill is not that important topic or that important skill, but communication skills are very important skills and you need to know them. You need to understand them. Aapne communication skill ko samajna hai. You need to know what to say, how to say, when to say, where to say and why to say. These five WH should be answered. What to say, how to say, when to say, where to say, and why to say? Kyu mein ek baat karni hai? Kya baat karni hai? Kab mein ek karni hai? And how to say that? Now, there are different ways of communicating one message. One is formal way to communicate it. Another one is informal way to communicate. Let's learn the difference between both. Dear all, what is communication skill? It has three phrases. Listening observing and responding you speak someone is listening or someone is speaking and communicating to you baat karte hai. you listen you observe it and then you are going to respond this is what communication skill is you listen read you listen or read you observe thing and then you respond this is what communication is we are going to listen, read, and then observe. The second thing is missing in communication in our society and many people. Hamare muashre mein jo ek major issue face ho raha hai, that is observing quality. Sometimes we are going to communicate and then we are regretting. Mujhe is tarah nahi bolna chahiye tha. Me aar, yaar, me to isse behtar bol sakta tha. Yaar, ye meinne kya bol diya? That is what observing. So, you have this quality aap mein le karani hai, to read, listen, or you will read, or you will listen. Two receptive skills. Hai. And then observe and respond. You need to observe the message and respond. Now, communication has different types. If you want to know types of it, there are four major types of it. That is written communication. When you are going to read something, someone is writing to you or you are writing to someone to communicate your message. Either verbal communication. In verbal communication, you are going to speak and communicate. That is also called spoken communication in which you are going to speak and communicate your message to someone. The next one is known as nonverbal communication. Body language, facial expression, eye contact gesture and posture that is coming in nonverbal communication and the last one not the least one is visual when you are trying to communicate through pictures through charts drawings paintings different photos you are going to present that in each photo must have a message through photo or through drawing or through painting or to sketching you are going to communicate something that is also a part of communication and people are going to learn. Now, you need to know how to master all these types of communication. You need to know how to make your communication effective. In coming videos, I will try my level best to elaborate to you guys how important is the effective communication and learn it. Dear all, don't forget that communication is not only important in our professional and academic life, but it is also important in our gender life. How a mother should communicate a message to son 
how a sister should communicate to brother, how father should communicate to son, how husband and wife should communicate in front of their babies or children to each other. That is very important and everyone should master it. In professional life, how you should communicate to your colleagues, how you should communicate to your boss, how should you communicate to your supervisor or manager, the one who is the team leader. Besides that, in academic, you need to understand how to communicate to your teachers. Uh, teachers should know how to communicate to children because they are role models. In many, you know, academic centers, we just observe something and that is lack of communication. Many professional and academic people are missing with proper communication skills. Let's learn proper communication skill from Englingo and this channel of mine will help you out to master your communication skills. Don't forget to be a part of our sessions and in coming videos you will learn about importance and effective communication and then you will learn about different types of it step by step in detail. Thank you so much. Stay blessed. Be a part of Inglingo and try your level best to ask me question in the comment box if you have any.